ओके सो द क्वेश्चन इज दैट टू नेचुरल नंबर्स टू नेचुरल नंबर्स डिफर बाय थ्री फाइंड द नंबर्स इफ द सम ऑफ द रेसिप्रोकल्स इज सेवन बाय एट राइट सो लेट अस स्टार्ट एंड कंसीडर वन ऑफ द नंबर्स एज लेट अस से एक्स इफ वन नंबर इज एक्स एंड द टू नंबर्स विच वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग डिफर बाय थ्री देन आई कैन टेक अनादर नंबर एज एक्स प्लस थ्री this is a valid assumption because x and x plus 3 will always differ by 3 right now further the question is the sum of their reciprocals should be how much their sum of reciprocals should be 7 by 10 so let us take reciprocal and add these two quantities you will get 1 by x plus 1 by x plus 3 equal to 7 by 10 right now let us simplify this equation Let us take LCM on the denom LCM on the LHS. You will get x plus three plus x upon x into x plus three equal to seven by ten. Let us further simplify by cross multiplying the terms. You will get ten into two x plus three is equal to seven into x into x plus three. Right? Let us open the brackets. We would get ten twenty x twenty x Plus thirty equal to seven x square plus twenty one x. If you take everything on single side, you will get seven x square and twenty x and twenty one x. Result would be plus x. Also, we have minus thirty. I have taken everything on the right hand side, right? So we are left with this quadratic equation to solve. Now. Again, we have to use this method of splitting the middle term. So we have to split x in such a way that sum should be plus one and their product should be equal to seven into minus thirty. Seven into minus thirty. I got it from the coefficient of x square and the constant term, right? So now let us convert seven into minus thirty such that the sum should give us plus one. So I can write it as, let us say. Fourteen into minus fifteen. This is close enough, but still the sum is giving how much? Minus one. I want some sum as plus one. So let us change the signs. I can write this product as minus sorry plus fifteen into minus fourteen. Now the product is also equal to seven into minus thirty, and the sum is also equal to plus one. So I should use these two quantities for splitting my middle term, right? So what do I have? I already have this equation with me. Let us split the middle term. We would get seven x square minus fourteen x plus fifteen x minus thirty equal to zero. So if you take seven x common from the first two terms, you will be left with x minus two inside, right? And in next two terms, let us take fifteen common. Again, we will be left with x minus two, right? Further, you can take x minus two common. This should give us seven x plus fifteen in the remaining bracket. Now again, if something into something is equal to zero, then either the first something should be zero or the second something should be zero. So if I take first something equal to zero, I will get an my, get my answer as x equal to two, right? But if I take second something equal to zero, I will get x is equal to minus fifteen by seven, right? So let us go back to our question and see what the question was. The question was two natural numbers, right? But minus fifteen by seven is not a natural number, so obviously we will have to neglect this particular solution. But two looks fine. Two is a natural number, right? So one of my natural numbers, according to my assumption, is x, and value of x is equal to two. So one of the numbers should be what? One of the numbers should be two. Other number is x plus three. So if x is equal to two, my other number should become equal to five, right? So two and five are the two numbers, which on adding their reciprocals give us seven by ten. 